back here with you at IMS. Thanks for joining us this morning. I'm Dan Spiegel. And I'm Beer Shell Edmay. Of course, we've promised you to have all the exclusives, give you the behind the scenes, right? And that includes the man behind this greatest spectacle in racing. We're talking about the president, <laughs> Doug Bowles, who joins us now this morning. Doug, thank you so much for joining us. I'm really not the man behind this. There are so many men and women who yeah, put this on, yeah. 5,000 of them today that are helping wow. do that. But it's 200 full-time people here at the Speedway. They do such a great job. I get an opportunity to sit down and talk to you and just get excited about the Indy 500 and how Indiana and Indianapolis is on this international yeah. stage today. And you're expecting today the second largest crowd in Indy 500 history. Well, certainly in the last 25 years. Last I think 25 you can, yeah, years. definitely okay. in the last 25 years. Other than the 100th running, uh, this is really going to be a big, a big crowd. We are fired up about it. I think people are excited to be back. You can feel it in the traffic. I mean, it is, it is a big deal. We're going to be more people here today than live in the entire city of Cincinnati. Wow. Which is pretty cool. Wow. And like you said, this is an international spectacle, yeah. right? We have people from all over, and, and the stories they tell about the traditions and why they are so rooted to being here are so moving. So for you, personally, to be here in this moment right now, what does it feel like? It's an emotional moment, honestly, especially after the last three years. It is the fans that make this place special, and not having them in 2020 was really painful, and even last year at that reduced capacity was difficult as well. But you're right, every 50, all 50 states, have someone here yeah. and then we've got about 25 different countries in fact I spent a lot of time yesterday with fans who've come in from around the world who landed either on Friday or sometime yesterday and just walked around the place yesterday to see all the different languages 1911 it was an international sweepstakes it really wasn't but that's what they called it that and so I think we're kind of carrying on that international flavor that Carl Fisher envisioned in 1911. You mentioned the last couple of years the challenges we've been through the things you had to do here at the track obviously running a race with no fans in the fall and then last year limited capacity, all of this amidst uh, being under new ownership. How special is this to Roger this year, to Roger Penske, to finally be able to open up the Speedway to, to everyone who wants to come this year? Honestly, I think it's probably more special to all of us that work for him and the entire team than it may be for Roger. I mean, Roger's been just really methodical and he's kept moving through the pandemic. He was never phased by it. He's invested a lot in the facility, even in 2020 yeah. when we couldn't have folks. So all of us want to put on a great show so he can see this place full as owner of the Speedway. I think for him, it's just business as usual. He's just thinking about the little things. Talk to him a couple times today, just little details he wants to fix and things I know we'll hear about afterwards. He just wants to make it better every time we come here. Hey, perfection is great, right? <laughs> Absolutely. So let me ask you one quick question here because as you mentioned, it is the first time we're seeing a full capacity crowd and a lot of people are coming internationally. What are some of the things that they'll find? Because there have been a lot of changes under the Penske uh, ownership here. So we were limited to 40% in the, in the grandstands last year. So 60% of the people here have not seen the things that we started doing in 2020. The new video boards, the larger video boards, the stuff we did on the back of the grandstands, the, the restrooms, the, all of those are new to folks. A lot of the stuff we did between last year and this year is more deferred maintenance stuff. If you're underneath Tower Terrace and you look up, you see new steel. The infield care center has been upgraded. So a lot of those things that aren't necessarily as in your face as like this big video board behind us right now. Yeah. Well, it's going to be a great race, and we thank you for all uh, your time here with us and also for all the hard work you all put into making this a, a truly great spectacle every year in our city. It's so great to see Indy in the national spotlight, the international spotlight. For sure, and that, that for yeah. me, it's not just about representing the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. I hope that Hoosiers and folks who live in Indianapolis, whether they like the race or not, they're proud of the way that we represent Hoosiers. Oh, we Love certainly that. are. Doug, thank you. thank you so thank much. You. Thank you so much. As always, have a great race day. Thank you.